Hi guys, welcome. Sim UK here. This is Sky Haven, uh, a game that I've sort of had my eye on for quite a long time. And um, thankfully, friend of the channel, good old Deputy Dog, hooked us up with a key. So thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to take a look today. It's um, not a review. I'm just sort of just playing and, and seeing if the game is pretty good. He seemed to think it's a game that I would like. So uh, let's jump into the tutorial and see what I can learn. Real welders to me. This short tutorial introduces the basics of the game. We will start with the construction of the main structures, ramps and runways. Okay. You can find grass strip in the building panel in the ramps and runways section. Okay, good. Where do I find the building panel? Where's the building panel? Is this it? Facilities, ramps and runways. I got it. Grass ramp, grass runway, grass strip. Boom. Press shift to build multiple objects. Press right mouse button to cancel construction. Press alt to prevent grid snapping. And press R to rotate. To reposition or delete a building after it has been built, turn it off within its window. Then click and drag it for repositioning whilst keeping the building panel open. Press the remove button to delete it. That's a little bit complicated, but okay. I think I've pretty much followed that. Um, now it says build a runway, but this apparently is not going to... Because that's in red. No connection to supply network. I assume. Oh my god, this is quite large. I assume we're building this way. And not this way. That kind of makes sense, right? I, I assume. So grass strip. Boom. red maybe I should do this first build a runway first right let's go ramps ramps and runways well, it's not a good start is it I mean, <laughs> I'm confused by the very very first thing in the tutorial interesting right so we've got like these um it's like a gravel road it looks like if i click on this and expand this help all ah, right okay um to build facilities roads runways and alike for your airport you can access the building panel by pressing one of the available building category buttons at the bottom center of the screen at the start of the game, you will only see four building category buttons available. Building, services, service facilities, runways and ramps, and roads and pathways. More categories will become available as you progress through the game. Once the building panel is opened, a grid will become visible on the world. It is useful if you want to snap your buildable objects for precision. You may change the size of the grid in the grid size panel. Okay. Buildings category contains buildings that contribute contrib contribute to the airport's work capacity and have the means to evolve it. The service facilities category contains all sorts of airport service facilities and service storage buildings. Runways and ramps category contains ramps for aircraft, runways for landing and takeoff and exits for runways. The... Um, roads and pathways category contains roads for ground support vehicles, taxiways and aircraft. So just looking at the picture here, it looks like I should really be building a road first. Uh, so linking. Oh, my God, this is going to be in depth. This is looking rather, rather in depth, rather in depth. Grass taxi, grass road. Uh, ramps and runways. 
So can I build it further? Perhaps it has to be. I don't see a runway though. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never been this far away from home. So there's only a, you can't rotate it to the angle you want it. It has to be at a specific angle. It's a bit shaky as well. Uh, oh, hang on. Press Alt to prevent grid snapping and then rotate. Okay, that's just brought... Holding Alt and pressing R has brought up my performance overlay, which I didn't even know existed. Well, that's pretty cool. I've just learned something new. Um, right, okay. So if I'm, I'm just going to... I don't know what to do. Should we just stick a runway down? Okay, so we've built a runway. Build an exit for the runway. Where, where's the thing about grass strip? I don't... Uh, I got myself confused there, I think. Grass ramp. Build an exit for the runway. Exit. Built. In fact, can I have one at either end? I just sort of like that design much better. Okay, so far so good. Build three ramps. Okay, so the ramps need to be connected to the runway. Which bit is the ramp and which bit is the... I guess we're going to have to test it. I'm going to guess that way. Oh, I may have got that back to front. Connect all the ramps to the runway. So where are where are the roads? Polygons cannot intersect. Okay. Telling me something there. What's that saying? Okay, so if I try and put another one down, I've got to build three of these bad boys, right? Oh, getting these lined up is going to be right proper tricky, yes? Okay, a little bit wonky. Little bit of a wonky donkey, but that's okay. Because well done. We almost have all of the essentials to accommodate airplanes. The next thing an airport needs is some facilities to provide service services. Let's build a fuel barrel stock and cargo storage facilities. Facility. Let's build a fuel barrel stock and cargo storage facilities. Okay. After that, we mustn't forget to connect them with roads and link them to ramps. Roger that.
Uh, so hang on. So it's a little bit, a little bit messy. Why does that go green sometimes and then red? What, what's, what am I missing there? Something I'm missing. Oh my God, this game is going to be so much more in depth than I thought it was going to be. Build a fuel barrel stock facility. Right, okay. Uh, facilities, fuel barrel stock. Fuel barrel stock. Now, we don't want that to be too close to the aircraft because, you know, explosions and stuff. We'll pop that there. Cargo storage facility. We'll put that somewhere like that. Lining stuff up is going to be right tricky. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it than I'm doing Right, so I'm quite liking that. I'm, I'm, I genuinely, I look at that and I think, hmm, I've done quite a good job there. Even though it's a little bit wonky and a little bit all over the place and, and not exactly uh, perfect. Um, I still think, feel, and think and feel, uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. Pretty freaking awesome! So I've just I basically built that one just a smidge too close to this, which is causing a problem. But that's okay, because we've, we've got the extension that side. And this is my first look, so, you know, some stuff is not working, and that's okay. Buy a truck for the fuel barrel stock. Aha! Buy a vehicle for this parking slot. A Bussing ZU500, a standard type of power vehicle, light, strong, attractive, high-wheeled, high-bodied, simple and splendidly efficient. Rides like a carriage smoothly and almost noiselessly over both paved streets and the rockiest country roads. Interesting. In what era is this game set, I wonder? Buy two trucks for the cargo storage. Oh, okay, yeah. Hang on. Uh, okay, boom. Link all service facilities to the ramps. Have I not done that then already? Oh, how do I link? Ah, that's the question. After connect... I see how this works now. I understand the menu now. After connecting your facilities to ramps, you have to assign ramps for each facility to service, i.e. Facilities must be linked to ramps or vice versa for the service to work. You can find the linking buttons in the facility window or in the ramp window. So if I come in here, see if I can do it without following the tutorial... Can I link to all available ramps? Brilliant. So that just immediately collect, con connected to all available ramps. Yes. Awesome. We are now ready to host aeroplanes. Let's do it. Brilliant. Accepting flights. Unpause the game in the lower left time control panel or by pressing space to start receiving on-demand flight proposals. The on-demand flights will start showing up on the left side of the screen above the time control panel. Click on a flight, excuse me, to expand the panel. Choose an available ramp for the flight's airline to park at. <coughs> excuse me. Don't know where the hiccups came from. And press the accept flight button. Let's just do space. And I think we're at normal speed now, yes? Okay, so we are, oh, we're actually 1916. Fantastic. Orville Cargo. Wait a minute, let's go back to pause. Um, the on-demand flights will start showing up on the left side of the screen above the time control panel. Click on a flight 
To expand the panel, choose an available ramp for the flight airliner to park at and press the Accept Flight button. So, this... Ah, oh, I see, okay. Accept. Perfect. And then this one is the second one, and we'll accept that in part, part two. Still got um, an exclamation, no supply to network. So I think what I need to do, even though it hasn't told me to do it, is just connect that up there. There we go. That gets rid of all those little red markers. All right, I think we're, uh, I think we're getting it. I think it's starting to sink in. Now, which way are the airplanes going to come from? Oh, look, there's a little truck. Can I follow it? Yes, I can. Oh, but I can only follow it whilst that screen is open. Oh, no, I can't follow it at all. Ah, right. As soon as I click on anything else... No? What is going on here? Oh, it doesn't follow it. It just takes me to wherever it is. All right, I get it. First airplane! That's brilliant! Look at the detail on the... On the aircraft itself. Where did it go? I like this. You were right, Deputy Dog. I think that's quite clever how I've designed that. I'm very happy. I just wish I could move that over slightly. Oh, I can move it over. Oh, oh look, they've even got the right numbers for the right uh, ramp. Number one, number two, number three. Okay, so I think I could actually move this and fix that little mistake. Oh, that's so cool. You got the barrels on there, you got the luggage on there. Where's the other one? Oh, oh my god. It's like the Red Baron. It's 1916. Freaky. Okay. Brill. So I've got to accept two out of three. So we've got more flights coming in, so we'll accept them. We are providing services now, but to keep it up, we need to resupply. Connect facilities with the outer area and sign contracts with the fuel supplier. There are three types of fuel contracts. Take or pay, flexible and instant. Choose wisely. Okay. Build an office. Build an office. An office. Okay. An office. Can I just auto? Yes, you can auto just connect it to stuff. Brilliant. Right. The office can go there. Uh, hire five clerks. Clerks. Open. No. Uh, mm, how? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how to do that. Let's find out. Open the research lab screen. Oh, my God. This game has so much detail. Personnel. Uh, uh, uh. Research works in the following manner. You can hire clerks in the top left corner of the screen. Each clerk will give you research points every day. Use those points to research anything you want that is available in the list. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got there in the end. Start the advanced barrel logistics research. Oh, okay, back in here. Open lab. Advanced. Barrel logistics. Research. Good job. Research is needed to keep up with the times and access the latest technologies. Build an office. Fill it with clerks and put them to work. I just did that, didn't I? Or are you just reiterating? Sign any fuel contract. Open the fuel management window from the lower right panel.
That's research. Why has it got an exclamation mark? Don't know. Um, cargo management, fuel management. Yep. Okay. Open the fuel management window from the lower right panel and go to the supply management tab. Supply management. Uh, press the new contract button to open the window with available contracts and select any one of the available fuel resource contracts to sign. A supply delivery truck will shortly deliver more fuel to your storage. Uh, open the window with available contracts. So what? New contract? Okay, KK. Okay, KK. To sign this type of contract, you have to research it first. To sign this type of contract, you have to research it first. So, <laughs> although it said pick carefully, I can actually only pick instant. Or does it mean the contract carefully? Right. Delivery volume, 1,000 for 420. 5,000 for 200 and 2,200. 10,000 units for 4,600. Okay. So they're all fairly similarly, similarly, really priced. Um, that's actually slightly more expensive than Union Oil, and that's cheaper, but will have obviously less fuel. Uh, can I increase that? So for 2,100, I can get half the amount. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, so it looks like Union Oil Company is the best value. So let's just do that. For intense air traffic, an airport has to be capable of sustaining high demand. Sometimes you will need to adjust your services and the work modes of the f infrastructure objects. Let's walk through seven, several, not seven, several scenarios that could be useful. Change the runway's mode to arrival. I, I bet you I can do this without looking at the tutorial. Boom. Significantly smarter than the average bear. Buy a truck for the fuel barrel stock. Okay. And boom. Shackaloom. Oh. Uh, oh. Is this going to be slightly more advanced? How many parking spots do I have? Just one. Oh. Two. Bye. Hello, kitten. We've got a kitten. Come say hello. Come on then. Up you come. Good girl. Right. I'm trying to play my new game. Just move the microphone slightly closer. Hopefully uh, you're not getting hit by the fan. Right. Let's see what we've got here. Close that down. Build a fuel barrel stock facility. We've already got one. Do I need another one? So, facilities. Oh, does it say... It doesn't say a large. Let's go for large. Let's go for large the other end. Right, okay. <laughs> it didn't say build a large in its defence, but it just seemed to make more sense to build the large. Okay, so I wasn't following the tutorial properly and it got cross with me. Fair enough. Reposition the barrel stock facility. I know how to do this. Watch. Close. Move. Ah, it took the road with it. That's a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But whilst we're on the uh, the subject, oh, move a fuel truck from one barrel stock to another. Oh, okay, this is cool. I like that you can do this. Relocate vehicle. No, open vehicle window. Oh, hang on. Do I have to close it to do this? Close, relocate. No. Okay, reopen. Let me figure this out. 
show vehicle. So I think it's probably, it's not doing anything at the moment. No connection with runway, no connection with runway, no connection with runway. Uh, I'm just trying to fix some of these issues that I've accidentally created. Right, so they, it can't fit. Okay, so I, I, I would like to redesign this uh, whole area, but uh, it's okay because it's part of the tutorial. Move a fuel truck from the other. To transfer a vehicle between facilities, click on the relocate vehicle button in the facility window at the listed vehicle. After that, you will see a list of facilities to transfer the vehicle to. Take into account the fact that only facilities with available parking slots appear on this list. Well, I tried that. That's fuel barrel stock. That's fuel barrel stock. Parking slots available. One parking spot available. Does it need to be connected first? Is that what the problem is? I'm not following this. Not following this at all. All. Every vehicle at the facility, as well as a description of its current activity, can be seen here. You have two control options here for each vehicle. You can move them to another facility with the same service, provided there is a spare room for them at, at another facility, or dismiss them. There is a limit to how many vehicles a facility can station. The limit can be increased by purchasing a parking slot upgrade in the expanded vehicle information window. Yes, I know, I've done that bit. Um, okay, I'm going to have to use my brain here and figure this out. So do I have to select it first? It says loading at fuel barrel stock. Are we paused? I bet I knew that was the problem. When did we pause? I don't remember pausing. So I, I think I have to wait until they're back at base. Yes. Would that make sense? I don't, I don't really know what I'm not doing right here. Right. So there, there are, they're addressing the aircraft, so we'll we'll leave that be for now. Wait until they come back. We'll link that to everything. So that he's moving to parking. So that's this guy here, right? So as soon as he comes into parking, can I then relocate him? There he goes. Driving in, parking up. Still says moving to parking. Where the hell's he going now? Yeah, uh, I don't know why that's not working. That seems to be beyond me. It seems like such a simple request. Why am I struggling with it so badly? This one, you can't even... Uh... Oh, there we go. Um... Boom. Yes, I did it. Well done, me. It was really difficult, actually, to tell them apart. So I'm guessing you can... Oh, no. Relocate. Right, can I, can I rename it? Okay. So, large fuel barrel stock one. Okay, that's 
that's good. That makes it easier to figure out what it's called. Being a right dozy pillock right now. Uh, okay, something weird's going on. I can't move anything. Research completed. Advanced barrel logistics. Base hospitality. Okay, good. I can't move. Game has been auto-saved. Wonderful. Why can't I move? What is going on? That's so random. What's going on? Um, okay. The resource management window can be opened by clicking on the corresponding button in the facility windows or in the lower right side of the main HUD. The new contract button is in the supply man manage management tab. So. The resource management window can be opened by clicking on the corresponding button in the facilities window. Is it cargo management? No, resource management. I'm a little bit confused again. Okay, that's the size. Okay, that's good. That was a nice spot. Um, something random has happened here. I cannot move. I cannot move at all. I'm completely stuck here. I'm not quite sure what I did to do that. It was working fine, and now I'm stuck. Everything still seems to work. I just can't move. Slightly random. Um... Sign a resource contract. The resource management window can be opened by clicking on the corresponding button in the facility windows or near the lower right side of the main HUD. Now can I move? No? I am completely confused. Let's just sign that one. Okay. So we're in the right place. But this is called cargo management, not resource management. These things have to tally, otherwise they don't make sense. So, okay, we're going to take Royal Post and we'll get another one, which will be what? It's going to grab anything. Um, that one. Please note that if you have only one runway and it is set to arrival mode, airplanes will not be able to depart, and vice versa. Departure mode will prevent arriving flights. The best mode for a single runway is both. Well, I know that, but you made me change it. So let's click on it. Oh, great. I can't zoom in. I can't move around. Uh, options. Key mapping. Move left, move right, move up, move down. Free normal camera mode is F10. Let's, let's see if that fixes it. Right. Is that what the problem was? That kind of, moving weirdly. That is moving very weirdly. F10 again. And now we're back into it. Don't really know what that was all about. Maybe I caught the F10 key. I, I don't see quite how I would have managed to do that but anyway it doesn't matter let's click on the runway let's go to both we'll say yes and that's that fixed build a term terminal the early days terminals are available in the capital construction section of the building panel after research okay 
Now I've got to remember how to do research. In here, show lab, passenger services, base hospitality, aero snacks, stereo mountain, construction, airplane services. Ah, uh, okay. I give up. Let me read it again. Capital construction section of the building panel. After research. Okay. Uh, so we go here. We go show and lab. Is it that one? We've already got that. Maybe you've already got it. Oh yeah, we've already got it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. So, Whereabouts in the world am I meant to put this? So that's not going to fit anywhere at all, is it? That's slightly odd. I don't quite know where to put that right now. If I just pop that here, that's definitely not connecting to any existing road. And it's not connecting to any existing strip. Uh, I think maybe I should have tried to... I don't quite know where to put that. Let's just stick it here for now because it seems to be the only semi-logical place for it to fit. We'll connect it up with some roads. Okay, I can't. I can't. Uh, we'll turn it off. We'll move it. Perhaps, you know, if that's going to be the case, perhaps it would make more sense... Oh, perhaps it would make more sense if it was turned off when you build it and then you turn it on when you need it sort of thing. Perhaps. Right. OK, I quite like that. I even like the wonky road bit there. I think that works quite well. It looks nice. So if I click on this and I say link to everything, and what does that link to? That links to all the airports and that links to all the ramps. Baggage, passengers. Okay. We need a vehicle. And we need a vehicle. <clears throat> that didn't work. I had a feeling if I closed it down and opened it again, it would work. So, um, is this still in early access? Let me just check this a second. Yes, okay, still in early access. So there are going to be some bugs and stuff. Um, I would like to see bugs in the tutorial fixed and um, wording inconsistencies fixed because it's quite a technical and advanced game and it's quite unique in the way that it does things. Um, and having that mismatch or issues in a tutorial really makes it difficult for new players to get involved. Uh, but I'm liking it. I am very impressed with what I'm seeing so far. Just a small, not complaint, but request from the devs to really focus on getting the tutorial ironed out right from the very beginning. That would be nice. Good. Now let's finish the tutorial with scheduling. If you are going to develop your airport into a big international hub, you need to deal with regular flights. Sign with eight lines... Sign flight contracts and manage them in schedule. Right. Okay. 
Sign with the Royal Postmaster Office Company airline. Schedule window. Uh, okay, let's read. Let's read this. These contracts are more complex and will be available after researching flight management in the research lab. Once you have the option, have I? Let me just check to see if I've done that. So we have flight scheduling. Flight management. Research. Right, okay. So I think I needed to do that first. Is that right? Uh, flight scheduling is now unlocked by the tutorial. Normally you would need to research it. Open the contracts window button in the lower right side of the main HUD. In this window in the airlines tab, sign the general agreement with the Royal Post master office <laughs> it's like uh what <laughs> I definitely did something wrong there. Let me try that again. So that's the schedule window. Contracts window. That's what I needed. Contracts window. Mm-hmm. Available. So we have none available. Is that because I have yet to do the research? Is that what it is? Okay. So that's set up and ready to go. Uh, open the contracts window button in the lower right side of the main HUD. In this window in the airlines tab, sign the general agreement with the Royal Postmaster Office. Contracts. I don't see the Royal Postmaster Office, so I'm guessing... It's not yet available. Is that correct? Uh, hmm. One day in 43 minutes, All right? Let's speed up time. That is so very cool. So I have flights that want to come in. I do, don't I? Let's, uh... So, okay. So this is all going to be manual until I unlock and get the, um, the contract thing sorted out, I guess. Right? So... Uh, I still don't know if it's... Unlocked. 23 hours and 55 minutes. Okay, so basically this time tomorrow seems to be Oh, oh, oh. Neither large fuel barrel stock one nor grass ramp number three has appropriate vehicle to serve flight R014. Ah. Research complete. Flight scheduling. Okay. So. What does this need?
Okay, so it told me I don't have the correct vehicle to service this or, or to refuel it. I'm not sure which. But that doesn't seem to be a problem. It just, maybe it's just saying, uh, you know, there's an opportunity to have made money there that you missed out on or something like that. Right, let's get this, let's get this in. Let's hope you're coming on, on one. Two, three. Oh, I see. So this tells you how much fuel they want. This tells you how much cargo they have. Required services. Two cargo trucks. Is that what you're saying? And we have two cargo trucks. Okay, and this is saying fueling of 87. Uh, and what that means is 87 litres of fuel. Capacity, 750. Yeah, that's so uh, that's got the capacity for that, so that should be fine, I think. Okay, so I know what to look for now. I understand what this is. Uh, ramp size, light, 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 light. Okay, good. Okay, I'm starting to make sense of it all. It's kind of coming together. Just got to figure out this final tutorial section. It's quite an important part as well, scheduling, because uh, scheduling takes the pressure off me to be uh, paying attention to it. And it can kind of uh, go and do its own thing. So let's say we'll have you on ramp one. We'll have you on ramp two. I'm not really paying attention to what that's telling me yet. I'm just trying to get them in before they disappear effectively. Nice, we got planes coming in. That all seems to work. And it seems to work without fault. I've played a few sort of games like this, uh, and they always seem to have issues with the aircraft getting in, in, in each other's way, etc. Uh, it seems, at the moment at least, with only a few planes, it seems to be quite uh, fault-free, let's say. Right, so we'll have you come in on there, and we'll have you, you come in on there. Sound good? And then we just got two flights left, and we've basically done everybody, which is kind of cool. Yeah, immediately they're out, look, ready to go. So I think we lost one there, but that's okay. We have a new one come in. Perfect. So far, so good. I don't know how, honestly, you would communicate with the aircraft uh, back in 1916. I'm not sure that ha how that would have been done, in all honesty. Not to worry, not to worry. Are we still waiting on this? 19 hours and 12 minutes. Flight management, okay. I'm assuming I need to unlock flight management in order to do this. Oh, it auto swaps to the next available aircraft. That's quite handy, I suppose. Good UI design right there. Good UI design. So I can just go two, one. And they'll just keep rolling in as they are. I mean, God, this is like Heathrow. It's, it's super busy. Mm, 
Not enough cargo in the storage. Next delivery in 2000. Okay, dismiss that. So can I do something about this? Can I make that any bigger? There you go. Fixed it. All by myself. <laughs> Aren't I clever? Well done, me. Super duper. Right, that's going to be a problem. Yep, they've gone. Boom, boom. We'll take those. Boom. So it looks like we've run out of oil, which is a bit of a problem. I'm hoping we get a delivery at some point. Daytime work hours have ended. During the night, you will be unable to accept any more flights. We'll have to wait until morning. For flights to continue arriving, use this time to focus on improving other aspects of your airport. Okay. So, we can't be that far off then. 14 hours. Still no contracts? Still no contracts. Oh. I didn't see that up there. Goodness me. Sign a contract with the Royal Postmaster Office. Uh, I've done that, right? Uh, now I need to do a contract. I get it. I, I get it now. Now I get it. Now I get it. Switch two ramps to schedule mode. So this... Uh, uh, schedule flights. Schedule flights. Schedule three flights from Royal Mail Post Office company supply schedule window um aha uh -huh. yes drag it boom 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 i like it so one and two presumably yeah, one and two are for scheduled and three is for randoms. All righty. Confirm changes. Congratulations on completing the tutorial, you complete imbecile. Oh, I did it. It was a bit of um, a mind-bending exercise, but this is looking really very cool. I like the fact that you start in 1916 and we're going to progress up to modern day standards. I, I think that's a brilliant idea you are now more you are now aware of the basic functions of the game you will encounter even more cases that are not shown here but now you should have the means to explore them on your own two feet and don't forget to head over to the help section from the pause menu or the main menu if you need specific information about any of the game's mechanics you can continue this post tutorial game for as long as you like or head back to the main menu and start a new game from scratch safe travels well, I think I'm going to head back to the main menu. Um, <clears throat> but yes, very impressed. I think there's a lot of things to learn here. A lot of intricate controls and details that I need to be aware of that I don't think I am at the moment. But 
really massively impressed. So massive shout out to Deputy Dog. Thank you so much. Um, you were absolutely right. This is right up my street. And it's really well done, or at least it appears to be really well done. Still in early access, so I can expect to see bugs, I suppose. Hopefully nothing too groundbreaking. Um, but what a fantastic start to uh, to a game's introduction. I think this is going to be sublime. Um, yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, watching me struggle through the tutorial. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. Do you think it's something you might be interested in? Or if you've already got the game and you've got some good advice for me or tips or tricks, then please send that my way as well. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, take care. Goodbye for now.